he likes to put himself in the category of the technician director. He is extremely methodical in his work and technically very well equipped. A unique example of his technical expertise is the palanquin race shot in Hashimi Baker Upokata, a long truck shot that catches the ever-increasing speed of the race in perfect synchronization with the ever-increasing tempo of the song used for the scene. That he could conceive such a long truck shot without a cut almost 40 years ago is amazing. Certainly, I would not go for the shot, which is not possible for me to take under circumstances. It's better to omit that shot than to take a bad shot. This training, this, this type of training I, I got from a science background, you see. I think uh, direct, every director must, must, be, must have a kind of, since cinema is a technology-oriented media, the director should know something about the technique of cinema and, it's, and all he translates it on the square frame of the camera. So that's very important. Until and unless the man doesn't know what is a square frame, just looking through and, and uh, just submit everything to the cameraman, I don't think that uh, uh, he can be called a good uh, filmmaker. Fifty percent is technique here and fifty percent is art or whatever you call it, literature. So in order to translate that literature into celluloid, the amount of technique is necessary and director should be well equipped of that technique. Topun Sinha now writes and scores music for his own films, though at an early stage of his career he worked with great maestros like Pandit Ravi Shankar, Ustad Ali Akbar Khan and others. I, in 50s and 60s, in my earlier films, I uh, had the opportunity of working with great musicians like Pandit Ravi Shankar, Ali Akbar Khan, S.D. Burman, Shuchit Dev Burman, Ankaj Mullik, Hemantu Mukherjee and many others. Well, in those days I used to make lyrical films and uh, I thought that uh, for the lyrical films they, had, they were the ideals because they used to take from um, Indian classical music and they were the experts uh, to convey that kind of music which was required in those days. And then uh, I tried my hand on it, though I had a very limited uh, experience or knowledge about Indian classical music. Perhaps I knew as most of the Bengalis they know the very elementary rises of Indian classical music. On the top of it, I had to uh, take certain phrases from Western composer also to make it uh, more effective, <coughs> excepting of course Beethoven, Bach, Mozart and uh, Tchaikovsky because they are very well known. But apart from them, there are hundreds of other composers and uh, sometimes I took, even in this wheelchair, I had taken a piece of handle with this, just one or two phrases then I interpret in my own way, you know, mix it up with uh, my own music and just to uh, get the proper effect. 
Well, it, it's a kind of process, you know, when you, you, know, when you compose a, a song. Now, previously there were great composers apart from Tivo. But somehow, when I wrote, the influence of them came to me. I don't believe that uh, art film or commercial film. film is a film itself. It's a global perspective. That's you know what I believe. Now there are uh, two or three kinds of film, good, bad, or indifferent, as you say, right from the inception of this film from 1920s or 30s. Um, I personally feel that there are two kinds of film. As I said before, the director designs films for the audience and the stew. The director designs his films for himself. And when he designs his films for himself, he comes out with certain experiments to, without bothering about, the, about uh, the audience. But I have cared for the audience right from the beginning of my career. I think it is an absolutely futile exercise if your film is not witnessed by the people. And I am going to continue, uh, going to continue this kind of work after the last year of my life. In the span of four decades, Topran Sinha has made as many as 36 films. During the period 1954 to 1970, he made 18 films. 1971 to 1980, 10 films. And 1981 to 1994, 8 films. This sensitive and socially aware filmmaker has dealt with various issues, delving deep into each and always emphasizing his concern for human predicament. I must say that I learned a lot from him in the very beginning. He, in fact, taught me how to walk in front of a camera or in a performance. Uh, he was very meticulous in these respects in those days. He used to take uh, umpteen number of rehearsals for that and he would not be satisfied until I did the right thing. In that way he very much resembles Shottujit Rai. Uh, but Shottujit Rai never really actually teaches an actor the details of acting or for instance he, he would never teach someone how to walk. But, in one respect, they have a similarity. That is, uh, they read out their script in such a way that an intelligent actor or one who is interested to go deeper into it would find cues from that, would find ways through which he can approach the role. 
but for the newcomers, I never allowed them because I always I tell them they try to copy me at least for three or four, for heaven's sake, for three or four films, and then you'll develop, you'll develop something within yours, and then later on you can uh, do whatever you like. Great thing about him is that he makes his pictures very artistic as well as for the common mass, for the mass appeal. That is, that is the thing which is very rare in people nowadays. And personally I like him because I worked with him. I felt so easy to work with him. He, we had a very good rapport, understanding. I felt it very easy to work with him. And I feel that uh, he has a way of choosing subjects. His subjects are not ordinary, like boy meets girl or anything. But he has got a subject which has some mes message, some appeal. And he, he works with a solid confidence which he gives to his workers also. I think uh, Tappan usually uh, selects literary works. Even in Sagina Mahato, it was a long short story, but he was, he, he recreated that story on the screen. And he tried to be as accurately close as is possible to uh, the literary work. But sometimes when he has to improvise, he does it so delightfully that it maintains and keeps its identity with the basic work. Working with uh, Tapanda was uh, an experience uh, not only in terms of a performer, but also as a student of cinema, I think that he has a place of his own. He will always be placed in the front rankers of uh, Indian picture makers. <laughs>